Hello friends. So today we are going to go out and take advantage of this beautiful, beautiful day and pick up some trash because y'all know nobody, um, at least on the west end of town where I live in, uh, they don't do, they used to have like people pick up the trash for <clears throat> like um, community service and stuff like that. So there would people be people picking trash up in the town. Now they don't do that. Um, and so there's just a tr bunch of trash everywhere and it's a really windy day and there's trash blowing all over the place. So I got my glove and I got a few trash bags and we are gonna go walk up and down the mountain and pick up trash. It is almost 60 degrees today. So beautiful day to take advantage of getting out and getting some exercise and I will take you guys with me. So let's go. So it's a very windy day out, bright day. That's why I got hat on and sunglasses. Beautiful day to be outside though. Down here on the bottom road by the park and they've cut a bunch of these trees out. Look how different it looks. So you can tell there's a, that's where that old house used to be. There's this old shed. Man, this looks a lot different than they've cut it all out. I'm gonna pick up all this trash out through here though. That tree is really squeaking. Down here at the creek. Look at this little footprint that I found. This little animal print. That gut tree is making some noise. Might not be safe to stand under it. But it is a beautiful freaking day. Down here, um, I walked past uh, a dogwood tree. The one that really blooms a lot of white next to that blue house. And uh, it's full of buds. Just checking around to see if maybe I can find a hagstone. Do y'all hear that tree? It's so beautiful out here. Oh, it's like the first breath of life after winter. That's what it feels like. I have love this place. See, so look at the freaking the light coming through. You know, if you think of of, of light as a being. Look at that. You see that? Funny how you just get little confirmations. Um, if you think of light as a being, as opposed, uh oh, I want my other bag. As opposed to, you know, a nothing substance, somehow it takes on, um, a more living presence because for, for most of my life I have felt like um, the light will shine in different ways to get you to notice different things like right now how it's hitting the water and how it's coming through the trees it allows you to see things differently a little bit one of my favorite things about Appalachia is like, if you walk through any mountain town, you'll see a bunch of abandoned roads going up the mountain in different ways. It's really interesting. Okay, let's go to the other side. I haven't been down here in a while. All these All this land and these rocks and these trees have been here for so long. 
which is why I honor them and do my part by cleaning up trash as I walk around. It's like a double win. This is one of my favorite spots. At different times of the year, it will be higher or lower. And during summer, all this is shaded. <clears throat> this tree, <clears throat> they put in all these specimen trees over here, and this one is a, what was it? Heritage River Birch. I get I come down here and I get some barks and stuff. Usually when things fall off, I don't rip it off the tree. And then there's this tree over here. His roots are so cool. They're like a little basin. See all the moss growing and everything. See, look, here we go. Look, these trees have got some buds on them. They're bright red. Where is that tree? Oh, here it is. This guy. Look at those roots. Oh, look at those mushrooms on him. What are those? Turkey tails? Look at all those freaking mushrooms. Oh, they're on the whole side of him. Look. That whole side is covered in mushrooms. That is so cool. Oh, his, he's, the whole thing is covered in mushrooms. Look, look, the whole, the whole thing is covered in mushrooms. Holy crap, that's a lot of mushrooms. Man, I'd like to get on the other side of the creek to get a picture of it. Those mushrooms are just eating him up. Let's see if you can see. Just covered in them. Okay, so I'm sitting on this tree right here, like literally on its roots. And look at this. I've never seen the creek this low. And look how those roots have like fused onto the rock. Isn't that crazy looking? See a bunch of ferns over there. But look, this tree's roots are just totally, I think this is a sycamore. I'm pretty sure it's a sycamore. Oh, if I look up, I get dizzy. But let me show you from the other side. See, I'm sitting right here on the roots. So let me show you from over here. There you can see, and the tree goes way up there. It's huge. This place floods constantly, and this bank is slowly eroding. There's no, they should do some plantings. And then look, we can go on this other side. But look at those roots. How they are. Oh, there's another cup. Look at that. 
Crazy looking. And this tree is probably, heck, I don't know how many, how wide it is, but it's, it's a pretty girthy tree. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite trees in town. Well, all of these sycamore trees are my favorite. I just love them. And then you could see how the the rock is getting slowly eaten away by the water. Just like my, the tarot says, be like water, flow around things. Don't force things, don't force, don't force your way on other people, just kind of go around. This is such, one of my favorite ways to meditate and get wisdom is to just sit on tree roots or hang out on them hang out near a big tree and like touch it you know touch the roots and everything because it holds more wisdom than you're aware of so much wisdom in these trees it is so windy today these trees aren't stable so it's kind of nerve-wracking to walk under them home and on my way home I found some uh, some branches that I that have that fell out of a very tall tree um, because this isn't something you usually find near the ground at least I haven't found it near the ground um, but it is this stuff right here And I'm pretty sure this is called Old Man of the Woods. And it has got, it, it could be used as a medicine. You can make a tincture out of it, if it, if that's what this is. Um, don't take my word on it, but if you, uh, came out of the pine tree. But you can see. Look at that. This stuff is so cool. So if this is Old Man of the Woods, I can make a tincture out of this that will, um, I can act, drink as like a preventative. See, it's all over this wood right here. And there's other types of lichen too. And then I did harvest a few of those mushrooms. I'm pretty sure these are turkey tails, which are medicinal as well. I can make a tincture of these, or I can even dry them and powder them. So here's the underside. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. If I'm wrong, please correct me if you know. What do you think about that, Sage? It's a mushroom. See? And look at this, Sage. What is that? Look at that sage. Look how many different types of lichen are on just this one branch. Like there's pink ones. There's like light blue. Green. Lichens are so freaking cool. There are so many different kinds. They remind me of like Something that should be in the ocean. Like this branch is just so beautiful. Oh, no, no, don't go in that bag, please. Don't go in the bag. It's full of forest goodies. Okay, guys, let me show you what else I've been working on. I've been working on this shaman hat. Um... I don't know, i just seen it flash in my mind. Since I've had all these blue jay feathers, I've been collecting blue jay feathers forever. Um, 
I just decided to, and I've had this hat forever too, so I just decided to make myself a shaman hat. That's my style. So I'm, I sewed all those feathers onto the little purple spots, which I'm then going to cover with beads and stuff. So I am not done with it at all. This is just the beginning, but for the front of it, I am beading this third eye. So it's gonna go right there. So I'm having a lot of fun doing this. This is just like a flash cre of creative inspiration that I got um, that I'm just wholeheartedly following. And here's something else that I finished that I did not show you guys yet. This is the Walnut House. You can see all the tiny little details I made. I, sew I crocheted a little rug. I crocheted a rug for down the bottom, made that little um, ladder from a root, made the trees from a root, um, and some moss. I made the little stones with egg cartons. And it's just so freaking adorable. I love it. This took me about a week or so of just like slowly um, working on it. And I absolutely love how it came out. I made little art and then that little tiny book in there. It actually opens up. And then I finished this little scene with the selenite walkway. Can you hear that wind outside? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of like just my shenanigans going around doing stuff. Oh, my trip, my, um, I'm glad I closed up the, uh, greenhouse because it would have blown away for sure. But I love you all so much. I hope you get inspired to go do something fun, uh, go gather some forest things, and I will see you next week. Bye.